there you are in your career doing very good acting and very successful things and yet you are in peril in so many times as you're talking about in Stratford. So what does Fiona do on the inside uh. when she sees herself or feels herself in peril? How do you dig yourself out of it? How do you survive it? How uh. do you dig yourself out of it? Not well, I'm going to be honest with you. I have to preface this and say, you need a little backstory. I had a very autocratic father whom I also always wanted to impress, and there was no choice but to be successful. Uh, when I asked him first to come and see me in a show, he said, I've seen Beatrice Lilly, why would I come and see you? Um, I just thought that was funny. Uh, only now do I go, oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, and, and at Stratford, um, in the aforementioned Comedy of Errors, uh, of course, actors learn very early on, do not read reviews. Um, but I had a father who did. So we had the opening of Comedy of Errors. And um, he phoned me at 7 a.m. the next morning and woke me up and said, how did it go last night? And I said, oh, I thought it went really well, Dad. Oh, really? It says here you were awful. So um, I got to care too much about that kind of thing. And I remember people like Marlene Smith or just, you know, really lovely people who believed in me saying, you can't let the negative get you down. If I heard about a bad review or, you know, you, sat, you know you've got bad reviews because people don't phone you and say, you got great reviews. And then you go, don't phone me when I get great reviews because I'll know if you don't phone me, I didn't get good reviews. But I used to kind of go to bed. And um, I remember a psychiatrist saying once, are you on top of the covers or under the covers? And I'm thinking, how's that significant? I just went to bed, okay? I had to sleep. Um, so my enemy as a performer has always been that I've been way harder on myself than anybody else has been. And I've never cut myself slack. And it is a demon that comes up in pretty much every rehearsal and it even came up in Harry Potter, where um, I thought the director didn't think my work was good enough. And he very sweetly said, oh, Fiona, I, I hope we're back on good tough again. I hope everything's all right. And I found myself saying, well, I, I just want your approval. And I remember thinking, oh my God, you're pathetic. You're 70 years old and you're still, but, I, but I've always gone by the credo. But you dig yourself out of it every time. Well, I do because you have to get on stage that night, and I do. You, you know the great Jackie Burroughs story, don't you? That mm -hmm. Jackie would get so upset, and she, she had got to a point where she just said, um, well, happily, she just got a series and a Green Gables and didn't have to do any more theater, which, which um, that would be a nice place to land, she says, looking longingly at R.H. Thompson. Um, um, to land a TV series, I'm, I'm hoping that day might come. Um, I'm only doing this interview, really, so that I can network with Let you. Let me see what I can yeah, do. Yeah, thanks. That, thanks. I'll make a few calls. Okay, we continue. Thank you. Yes, because I know you have that power. <laughs> um, yeah. um, but um, uh, but no, Jackie got to a point where you know it did cost her a lot. To, in, in her own testimony, would she say this? She would say. And she would sometimes, you know, be so upset, and oh no, all the actors would go, Jackie, it's going to be all right, going to be all right. And then Jackie would go on stage and be resplendent, and they were all just, <laughs> we just taught Jackie right. up to going on stage. You and know you this. did that. You know that. Then so, you went out and yeah. did that. So I'm always trying to not tax my fellow performers, especially after the half hour, you know. Um, my dear friend Stephen Sutcliffe. But how do you dig yourself out of it? Well, I think I am a needy performer who probably taxes her friends. Um, I said to Stephen Sutcliffe the other day, have I used up all my needy rewards points with you? Like, can I not come to you needy and say, am I still worthy? Um, I think uh, I have always, uh, I, the, the work has always sustained me. But COVID nearly broke me. I mean, to go a year and to do all these self-tapes, I mean, all I can say is I had a ton of company during COVID. Everybody was doing self-tapes, and most of us weren't getting work. And then you go on and find the YouTube video where the casting agent says, oh, it's great for us now because we just get so many self-tapes and then proceed to tell you how to do a self-tape. 
there's something wacky about that balance mm -hmm. that um, the, the rejection factor has really just multiplied now because we all get so many more auditions, perhaps, but the phone doesn't ring. I mean, that, that quotient has really changed. How do you get out of it? Um, working out has always been my go-to, swimming, my husband, I don't know how many times, you know, that you say, am I any good? You are good. Um, um, honestly, so you, you need I, the affirmation. From I think I'm the living person. You know that Stuart Smalley character that Al Franken? My husband did get me the t-shirt. I'm good enough. I'm smart enough. And God darn it, people like me. I used to wear that t-shirt. That is me. It can be tiresome for other people. I, you know, I have friends who just don't, are not plagued by those same issues and have got further in some aspects of the profession because they aren't plagued. Really? Yes. Yes. Because you're... I can name you names of people who are less complicated in that way and they just don't wear the stuff I wear. Um, I go down rabbit holes that I should not go down. It doesn't take much to make me feel, oh, oh, you are going to choose that person. And no, they're not, but I'm just... Is that your dad? No. Yes, 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 what? sure it is. Of course it is. Yes, of course it is. And do you ever... Do you ever, do you, okay, do you ever escape the stories and the upbringing, uh, any of us? Are we always 12 years old? Are we Somewhere old? we are. It's a matter of you learn more coping strategies to deal with that. Because if you're a good actor, you do go back to that 12-year-old self or that six-year-old self. Your inner child has to be, so then you deal with the trauma of that inner child.